Welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's Friday, and on Friday, sometimes, like I've tried to do in the past, is review a magic book. Today, got a small one for you. This is actually a book on theory. Now, sometimes uh, we do magic reviews for books and they're about magic tricks, right? Learning magic tricks, learning how to do magic tricks, learning how to do different types of magic tricks. But there are other kinds of books out there that can help you improve. And reading books about the craft, right? Reading books about magic or about magic theory or about performing or about the business end of magic, those are also books that you should be thinking about and should have a few on your bookshelf. I mean, if you're serious about magic, you need to read books about magic and that help you craft. Creating the Impossible helps stir those creative juices from two respected creators. Creating the Impossible is $30. It's a paperback book, thin book, uh, 104 pages, and this is from James Ward and Chris Wardle. All right, so who are Chris Wardle and James Ward? Uh, they're both members of the Magic Circle. They've devised tricks for TV and magazines, books, and stage. And in this book, what they're doing is they're combining their knowledge together. And the, really, that's how the book reads when you read it. It'll say, like, Chris, and then it'll have his response, and then James, and then it'll have his response. And they'll be asking the question about how to not, not think outside the box, but just to be more creative and to be more you. Like, how do you bring your personality and your style through the magic? As, as you develop your routines, as you craft and put things together, uh, these two authors are gonna help you come up with those ways. Plus, when they make their point, so let's say they're talking about a specific topic, when they make their point, they'll also include a trick that illustrates that topic. And so this book doesn't just have theory, there's also 15 effects. And really what this book is about is something that uh, th this argument has been talked about before. I've mentioned it here on the channel too. And it, what ends up happening is we just become copycats of all the magicians that we see, right? So you'll go out and you'll buy a trick from Jay Sankey and you'll watch it and you'll see him perform it. And then when you do it for your friends and family or when you do it out in the street, you'll mimic everything he does. You'll mimic his actions, you'll use his same patter, you'll use his same jokes. And for those, you know, two minutes that you're performing that trick, you actually become Jay Sankey. But then if you uh, do a David Blaine trick that you saw him do on Magic Man on TV, well then for those two minutes, you just become David Blaine and you mimic his patter and his response. Well, those two magicians couldn't be any more different, right? So how are they being blended together in you? You need to stop copying other magicians. Stop copying their patter. Stop copying their mannerisms. Stop even copying the beats and moments where they rest. You need to stop copying their methods. Come up with your own methods. Your magic needs to be yours. It needs to be personal so that when I watch you, I can tell who you are and I can hear the story that you're telling. I think the magicians that become the most successful have found a way to bring their own personality out and they let that shine more, speak more than the magic. The magic, that's just something that the people are watching. That's just something that's keeping their interest. You are the performer. So your voice is the thing that has to shine. And this is what uh, Chris Wardle and James Ward are trying to do with this book help you tap into that and begin to craft tricks that are you. All right, so what tricks are included in this? Uh, there's a new take on the jigsaw card. There's a date prediction with a kicker finish. There's a really cool name matching idea, kind of a, a memory cheating effect. And then there's another trick in here called eyewitness, just to name a few. But let's just peruse the table of contents just so you can get a little idea of what's inside. Uh, you got some background to the book, why create your own magical effects, effect or method. And then you have a big huge section where Chris Wardle goes through four of his tricks. And at the end of that, 
He's gonna cover close-up, children's magic, stand-up, stage. Then you got five resources and principles to spark magical invention. Uh, number one, white dry wipe pens, uh, magnetic thumb ticks, glow-the-dark dice, other uses for slush powder. Uh, James Ward comes in and he talks about his methodology and his creative process, and he's got a couple of tricks thrown in there as well. He talks about uh, categories of magic, categories of method, working with a the theme, brainstorming. And then over here in the conclusion section, you got six more tricks. And I know the book looks thin, right? It is a thin book, of course. It is a thin book. And it is $30, which, you know, it's about what you'd pay for a magic book. It's self-published. It reads well. And like I said, these two guys know what they're talking about. And for as much as we read books that are just tricks and nothing else, I think there's benefit to reading other types of books, especially books that help us perform, help us become better magicians. All right, so that's everything I can say about creating the impossible from Chris Wardle and James Ward. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.